Hello and welcome at Gestra in Germany. My name is Marcel Böttcher and today we will speak about water hammers in steam and condensate systems. Some of you may already have come across water hammers in your processes without having an idea of what exactly is going on. Water hammers appear as frightening and hammering noises that could even make your pipelines shake. Some of you may know how water hammers sound like, but do you know how they look like? Let's take a look on the glass steam system. What we got here is a glass condensate tank containing rather cold condensate at 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. We also see two injection tubes ready to inject steam directly into the cold condensate. As soon as we bring together hot steam with colder condensate, we will create heavy water hammers. Let's do it. We will start with the injection on the right. The injection pipe is designed with a 15 mm or 0.6 inch drilling. In the beginning we see some air bubbles being injected, but the steam injection follows after a few seconds. Let's take a closer look and keep our ears open to the appearing water hammers. In the second step, we will inject the steam via the second pipe on the left. The injection pipe is designed slightly different. It has 33 mm drillings dividing the steam node into separated parts. This will not completely avoid water hammers, but the forces harming the pipes are decreased by a lot. The forces of water hammers are influenced by several conditions. One of these conditions are the size of the imploding steam bubbles. The smaller the steam bubbles, the smaller the water hammer. Let's consider a second example. The condensate in the condensate tank now has a much higher temperature of 95 degrees Celsius or 203 degrees Fahrenheit. The differential temperature between the steam and the condensate is now much lower. This makes the water hammers almost disappear completely. But take a look on yourselves. Now, what is the conclusion of what we saw? Water hammers can easily be prevented by a proper drainage of your steam pipelines using gastro steam traps or by avoiding the mix of hot steam and colder condensate by a good design of your steam and condensate system. If there are any questions related to the topic, don't hesitate to ask me or your local gastro representative. Thank you and see you next time. Stay safe.